Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, I don't have yes. headphones on. That's why I can't hear myself. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Amateur hour. Welcome to Yeet Deets. <laughs> I'm Emily. I'm Evan. I'm Jesse. Nick will be with us shortly, I hope. Um, Momentarily. So, yeah. Um, welcome to Yeet Deets. It's Tuesday, so we're back. He's just walking away. <laughs> Yeah, he's what on his own. Happening. Amateur hour. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to be talking um, about. Uh, well, Nick was supposed to talk about current events, so if he gets he's in coming here, with his current events. <laughs> oh, here, here he comes. Uh, in, in, his, suit. in his suit. Look yeah, he's late. dressed really Shout nice. Shout out to him coming in late. <laughs> late. Looks like anyway. that thin Al Roker coming in. <laughs> <laughs> here he comes. Nice of you to join us, Nick. Thank you, thank you. Mr. President. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, anyway, like I was saying, Nick is going to be telling us about some current events this, um, today. I'm going to be talking about Pee Wee Herman, I guess. <laughs> Pee Wee! <laughs> Jesse <laughs> told me to. Jesse's going to be talking about um, the whole gun violence thing going on, which is, yes. I guess, is current events, too. Yeah. And um, Evan's going to be doing a comedy segment. So, real quick, do you want to talk about your weekend? I saw Black Panther. Hey, so did How everybody was else. <laughs> fire i want i want to see it i you gotta go see it bro you gotta see it nick you saw it yeah, let me say hell yeah I say right after him i saw it it was good sweet i haven't seen it yet yeah i haven't i want to see it though you have to and i suggest y'all go see it soon before people start spoiling it for you <laughs> <laughs> all right what about you jesse anything uh i cleaned Mostly, that's. I didn't have a real productive weekend. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, Me neither. Cleaning really. is always. Pretty it's pretty boring. <laughs> this weekend is going to be lit, though. I'm going to um, my friend's bridal shower, um, and I'm excited about it. And I have my Rocky show again, and I'm Columbia. Cool. Looking um, forward to it. Oh, I want to add. They go to the state fair, though. Nice. nice. Yeah, the state fair nice. is going on. So is the um, Ren Fest. Yeah. The who? Oh yeah, the Renaissance uh, mm -hmm. Festival. Yeah. Oh. Well, to give you I forgot people go to that. Give it's actually, I think it's kind of late. Yeah. So it's like I went for the last day. I saw driving up here, I saw, um, <laughs> you know, those spinning like dragon things. I saw a truck um, pulling those on the side of the road, <laughs> carrying those. That's why, like, when I was a, when I was younger, I used to like the state fair. But when you see that kind of stuff on the road, you kind of think, like, well, what am I getting on? Like, uh, if you can fit a Ferris wheel in a truck. Yeah, they just fit a whole in amusement <laughs> park. <laughs> packing like into track, track zip ties, uh, trailers I'm telling you. That zip tie thing is real. <laughs> exactly. That's why. But it was fun, though, because that was the first time in two years that I got to go to the fair. So I enjoyed it. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick music break, and then we'll be back for um, some current events with Nick. Um, stay tuned to Yeet Dudes. Yeet! 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 Oh, snap. Sorry. But, well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the E Deets. I'm Nick. I'm Emily. I'm Evan. I'm Jesse. <laughs> Out of control over here, guys. Yes. <laughs> yes. Allergy allergy attacks all week. Well, I got um some really, really good information about Somebody's calling me. Should I answer it? Yeah, put them on put them on live right now. Okay. Put them on black. Don't hang up abruptly this time either. Hello? Hello? It's a scam. They were from Arizona. Okay, keep going. <laughs> All righty. Um, the Trump administration had to respond to a domestic violence dispute that a scandal has officially made. The, if you, any of you guys know a person named John Fritters, uh, the, one of the top secretary lawyers of the White House. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff going on within the White House right now, a lot of scandals. and Making me hungry yeah. for some fritters. Corn fritters. Yeah. I like some uh, apple fritters. Oh, yeah, those are the best. Right. I know yeah. you continue. I wasn't thinking about fritters until you just said it. Thanks for making me hungry. <laughs> well, there is a domestic violence dispute that happened in the White House that they knew about it, but they never done anything for it. John Fredder is a lawyer, for those of you that don't know, who is one of the top secretaries for the White House. He does a lot of their federal cases, a lot of the countries, like little, like um, what they call it, the Sioux and the lawmakers, and to make sure everything stays constitutional. His spouse, Charlotte Fredders, has officially came out to the public and talked this weekend about 
the domestic violence that was taking place throughout her marriage. For over 16 years, she has been a subject to physical punches, oh, wow. black eyes, slapping, hits, and just different little, like not little, but just different verbal abuse, called her every name in a book that's not appropriate for the on air. And every time, and she says he just had rage that the first couple years of the marriage was like perfectly okay, where it was just like that typical, I got married, we have a house, we have kids, we have our cars. But then as he got into his career, he just became abusive. If he came home from a stressful night, he'll just go, according to USA Today, he, w he would just go right up to her when she was baiting the kids and just punch her in the eye. There Man. was times where he broke uh, beer bottles on her, where he would slap her. She was subjected to this type of abuse and that she reported to the White House, but they knew about it, but they kept it a secret for over eight years. Before. Sounds like a bum to me. That's what he sounds He's like. He's a bum. Yes, and unfortunately, her, with her kids, according to her kids, that uh, it got so bad that she literally had a busted eardrum and now has to wear, time to time, she has to wear like a neck brace, you know, like not the comb ones, but you know those neck braces yeah. because of the damages that he's caused her. So are they, are they going to do anything about that? Are they like investigating well, him or? Well, the according according to the same article, when, it, when they first started coming on air because she felt that per she personally felt that they were not doing enough about right. it especially when they keep it in the secret so she just turned into the public john fritters has officially resigned good the white house they have investigated it and it's actually good they're saying it's kind of embarrassing to have something like that just now come out mm -hmm. a lot of people have backlash for it and they're saying that there's multiple people in the White House who has who's married to these lawyers right. and are going through domestic violence as we speak. I mean, I think coming out. Yeah, I think as time goes on, a lot of things are going to be coming out about this administration and the White House. A lot of I mean, there's already a lot of stuff coming out, obviously, but I think it's just going to continue. You know, yeah, that's why it and that's why they're also saying that it is very important for people to be aware of stuff like that there's a famous there's a famous author l y marlowe who is a survivor of domestic violence that law that launched a website called savingpromise.org to prevent her granddaughter from becoming the fifth generation of women in abuse to the family now the reason why some of the secrets why it was kept a secret in the beginning because when it was in the 80s and 90s Domestic violence, as we all know, was a common thing. Right. Where men were the common, was common to beat their wives. And a lot of stuff that we talked, that we're just now talking about, was taboo for a lot of women back in those times to talk about. Right. People weren't allowed to talk about their personal <clears throat> business like that. So because of it, um, Charlotte is, um, she is suing the White House for it. Good. She, Shout out to Eric coming in late again. <laughs> yes. Charlotte is going, is wanting to have her story speak out. <laughs> now, visitation after 28 years, she has officially said she wants a restraining order. So she does not want to have people. She doesn't want him around pretty much. Right. And he shouldn't be. And I was talking about this on my radio show, The Hangover Show. Wednesdays yeah. at 12. <laughs> um, I, was talk I was talking about, so you know, how if you have money in this country or any country, you can get away with whatever you want most of the time. But and I think yeah. this is uh, a case like that. You know, I'm sure this guy has a lot of money working for the White House and everything. Mm -hmm. And and he just thinks, you know, probably thought that he could do whatever he wanted to uh, his wife and no one would find was, out. Thought but he was slick. Right, yeah. and it needs a change. It's a, it's, it needs a change. Almost like the all the like almost like all these sexual assault cases that are happening in the upper class that coming out. Right, you thought you have money, you thought that you weren't gonna be, 
that you thought you were not going to get caught and you got caught. Right. Now, Don- Donald Trump is also under controversy, controversy because of the fact that he slept with two mo- he slept with two playgirls or playboy. I think they were just porn stars. Yeah, yeah. just porn stars. Not even that level. <laughs> <laughs> so like there you know for being the press and they have him and uh standard that you're supposed to be faithful for your wife. Right. Uh, that's not even a presidential thing. That's like a, a man thing. Yeah. That's well, like every <laughs> well, <laughs> everybody that, should. Well, like that that's true, but when you truly think about it, like But he's supposed to be a role model. Like yeah. you know he's representing our country. That's just to think about that scary. Yeah. Especially <laughs> for the fact that that Dude. he also had you know it's kind of, it's like you know it's not just a man thing and just a controversial but when the latest scandal is the fact that he paid them off right after one of them said that hey we literally had an affair right after your son was born yep. their younger son they literally had Baron an affair. von Trump <laughs> yeah so it's like Jackie Candy and Hillary Clinton are famous examples of infidelity when their husbands were right. also cheating in the White House. But it's just, you know that this man is always in controversies. But I'm like, are you guys surprised at all that he slept with two porn stars? Nope. I mean, nothing surprised, surprises me about this administration. It's so. hard to differentiate what's fake and what's real now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like... Mm-hmm. Do you, do you guys just feel like if you were millennia Trump, how would you come across? Because you know we've never had a divorce in the White House either. And I don't think it's going to happen, so I think yeah. she'll stay with him. So yeah, She's she's the first lady, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's going to stay. Yeah. <laughs> she's the first lady. Like She'll probably dump him after he's yeah. done with the presidency. Yeah. Anyways, I think we're going to take a quick music break again. Thank you, Nick. You're welcome. Right. <laughs> this is Yeet Deets. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back to. Hang on, I got it. <laughs> Yeet Deets. There it is. I love it. Sorry. And if you guys want to follow us on Twitter, it's at Yeet Deets. On everything. Get- Give us a follow. We're on Instagram, Facebook, or no, yeah, Facebook. Facebook. Oh, we're on Facebook. <laughs> and, you know, follow us, and, you know, we'll give you a little little surprise on there. Maybe, you know, make, it, shot it, <laughs> make it worth your while, you know? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but. Jesse's going to take his shirt off. That's yeah, I'll take, I'll, take, I'll take my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool with that. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about, I guess, um, Pee Wee Herman as he's not in the news or anything. So, I mean, I don't know. I just wanted to talk about Pee Wee Herman because I binge watched um, Pee Wee's Playhouse last month. Like it's amazing. Every episode. I don't know how many episodes there are. How long did, did you guys get? You, you oh, forgot weeks? to get the uh, the squirt the squirt effect. No, we're not. We're not doing no, that. No, we're not. No, 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 no. So, anyway, I don't even know where to begin. Pee Wee Herman is Paul Rubens in real life. So he's not a real guy in case you guys didn't know. Yes. <laughs> Correct? <laughs> I think I think there was like 50 episodes or something yeah, like that. Yeah, there was PB's like 40 something, 50. Yeah. Are yeah. they 20 minute shows or no. an hour well, episodes? No, Half there, hour. There's a Christmas special oh. that's like a little long, but but yeah, I watched it in about 2 weeks. I can get through shows pretty fast, but I you watched move fast. I mm. watched it was like 4 episodes a day. And it was oh it was too much, I don't <laughs> I don't recommend it. <laughs> don't watch Pee Wee's Playhouse in one sitting, but I I it did will it. warp your mind. Yeah, it was real. It was like I was going insane after a while. <laughs> and How it's, did you do it? It's I don't know. I'm just I'm just that good, but oh my god, it was it was the same like thing over and over. Okay, so he started he developed the character. Um, he was in the Groundlings like theater troupe, mm-hmm. and I guess they had like an open mic night kind of thing, and he just made the character. And um, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Pee Wee's Big Adventure came before the show. Yes, the movie, 1985. Yeah, the movie. Tim Burton. Yeah, movie. that was like one of his first ones. Right. And um, yeah, that's a really good movie. I recommend it. Yeah. Um, and then and then he got the show. Um, 
uh, somewhere in between there was uh, like a he had a like a Broadway show uh, or not Broadway but like a, a play. Yeah, he had a, a like a stand up show where yeah. a lot of the same characters who were on Pee Wee's play Playhouse. would would be yeah. on. Yeah, the and then they redeveloped it to make it like more modern a couple years ago. But um, and it's kind of like. It has a lot of like sexual undertones. Yeah, he too. talks it's about like purity ring. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of dirty a little bit if you actually like. Yeah. Sit Who back was the intended audience for this guy? Kids. It's well, kids. the Pee Wee's Playhouse, the show that I watched, was for kids. But yeah, like everything nah. else that he's done is totally for adults. <clears throat> I mean, I think he's a genius to be honest. With you. Like <laughs> just the intro of Pee Wee's Playhouse alone is like. Come in yeah. and pull yourself up a chair. That was Cindy Lauper, right? Cindy Lauper, Cindy yeah. Lauper, yeah. Under like a pseudonym, I don't know. Yeah, said. I don't. I don't know what her. Um, I want to play original. the theme song. Like, can we play it like behind us? Yeah, we could play it. Sure. Anyway, Let's get while, it dialed I'm, up. while I'm doing that, tell me who is your favorite character from Pee Wee's Playhouse? I like Jombie. Jombie's great. I've yeah. never Mecha seen Lecha it. Lecha oh my god. Mecha Heine Ho. What is happening? Is it on Netflix? <laughs> yeah, it's on yeah, Netflix. Yeah, that's what I watched it on. And it used All to right, be on. I have to go on Netflix to watch. It used to it. be on Cartoon Network too, I think, or Adult Swim, right? I, one of those yeah. it used to be on. Oh my god, I got it up. Hang on. <laughs> I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna have to watch it on Netflix. We're trying to get the I uh I recommend it. What about you, Evan? Have you seen it? No, I'm gonna have to see it. I don't really like Pee Wee Herman after that controversy from his name. But I never checked out that uh his show. I always like Globy. <laughs> I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but <laughs> Cindy Lauper at her finest. It's a really long, it's like a two minute long song. Kiwi's Playhouse. Get the crazy rhythm. Come and come hop and win. Here you go, cool guy, Oh, that says like show for kids. Yeah, the, his show Pee Wee's Playhouse is for kids. That, so they say. But yeah. <laughs> kinda. Can you guys do a, Can you guys do a Pee Wee impression? I know Jesse can. I can do a really. Well, not. It probably no, it's really good because you could do two. <laughs> like you could do his like uh, voice and All like right. his. Let nasal. me try it. Let me try. Do it. Do it. I'll get away from the mic a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like his it's like his uh go-to laugh yeah you know? he does like the huh, and then the <laughs> that part do you think he sleeps in that outfit like to this day that's that's really weird that's <laughs> <laughs> that's not a question for me i feel like yeah well you never know oh my god so paul rubens obviously Had right at right after the show was busted i think it was during like we're at the very like maybe the last season like the last couple episodes yeah because i think the show ended in 1991 and that's when Mm -hmm. He got busted in Sarasota at an adult theater for... In Sarasota, yep. Yeah, for... Yeah. Wow, it was greasy back in the 90s. <laughs> and oh, so this show isn't back in the 90s? Yeah, well, 80s. 80, late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. Dang, I thought that was early 2000s. No, dude. He was <laughs> gone for most of the 90s after his, his scandal. He had a couple, actually, scandals. Yeah. One was the, you know, the... And then the other one was um, <laughs> your face. One was the um, one was the um, he had like possession of like magazines and stuff. Oh yeah, he yeah. called it art. Dang. So that's a whole other discussion. Tate like tasteful art. <laughs> <laughs> but personally, uh, I like Paul Rubens. He's done a lot of cameos too. He um, was um, shock, I think, in Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes, and uh, also Batman Returns, which is oh my god. Uh, Another Tim Burton movie, just like Nightmare Before yeah. Christmas and Pee Wee's Big Adventure, he played uh, the Penguin's um, father. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just a little oh. information about Paul Rubens. You know, let's talk about Batman. <laughs> Batman's great too. Anyway, we can do Tim. We can do a Tim. Yo, Burton. speaking of Batman, did you guys ever notice the original Joker? How fat he was. <laughs> What do you mean the original yes. Joker? Like from like, the like, old, like the first, like the first Batman from like the '80s. The Joker. Was I think you gotta be fat. Only fat guys can do that. Laugh. That's from like the he '60s, was, man. He was chubby. I'm talking about the uh, the '80s one. What '80s one? I'm not talking about the one with Heath Ledger. No, no, no. You're talking about the one from the '60s with Adam, Adam West. West. Adam West yeah. is the best. No, I'm not I talking think... about Adam West. Uh, Adam talking? West is Catman. That's what Adam <laughs> West is. Fairly odd parents. That's what that is. That's the only Adam West I know. <laughs> 
but no, I'm, I'm trying to Jack say. Nicholson. He's no, not. he's talking about Cesar Romero as the Joker, right? John DiMaggio, Mark Hold Hamill, just name all these people. Yeah. Bat, the Batman from 1989. This Are one we really right here. Oh, about Jack Batman Nicholson. Right yeah, with Jack Nicholson. Y'all went way yeah. off the end. <laughs> We That's, need to have like a Tim Burton. He was fat. Special. <laughs> Adam, he was a fat Joker compared to You're not to one Heath to call Legend. him fat. <laughs> what? Yeah, man. Who do you think you are? Look at me. I'm right, show I some like, respect. I like Jack Nicholson's um, Joker because I love when he said, You idiot. Oh, <laughs> Riding that toe and everything with that good old smile on his face. Y'all went off the handle. I'm going to go to a music break. Yeah. This is everybody's favorite song from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. We'll be right back. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Yeet Deets Show. Remember, you can follow us at Yeet Deets on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Tell your grandmother, too. We're going to be looking for uh, some everybody, guests everybody. for next week's show. and Spread guys, the word. Spread the word. And if you guys, Who wants to be on the radio? If you're interested, send Even us a message. Even if you're not interested, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, we could use anything. and. Talk and about whatever you want. As and if long anyone as wants to tweet us or talk about whatever, any weird stuff, give us feedback. You can give reviews on Facebook too. Give us five stars. You can tweet us pictures home. of your mac and cheese collection if you got one. Oh yeah, send us pictures of mac and cheese. That, that stuff's bomb. Ugh. Anyway, what you got to talk about, Jesse? Well, I want to talk about what you mad about <laughs> <laughs> gun violence and the Parkland school shooting. Um, as you all know, Nicholas Cruz bought a two twenty three caliber white rifle commonly um, referred to as an AR-15, AR right? After immediately clearing an instant background check by the gun shop owner through an FBI criminal database. Cruz did not have a, any criminal history, but he does have some psychological uh, problems that were noted to the FBI. Everybody's been Pretty discussing, like, what is it about? Is it about mental health or is it about guns or I mean, people? He, What's your he, stance? Here, here are the facts. It's I, it's really easy to get a gun in Florida. Yeah, like it's agreed. too it's too easy. Like you can go into a pawn shop, get I a gun. I saw an article like somebody was like, I got a gun in fifteen minutes, yeah. or twenty minutes. It, yeah. It's just like it, it's like I go commercial or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> fifteen minutes. Just or insane. Fifteen yeah. minutes <laughs> get you an AR fifteen. But yeah. on a on a somber note, he shot seventeen in, individuals who later died, mm -hmm. six of which are still in the in hospital, hospital yeah. critical condition. Um, it's been happening a lot. Actually, about a half an hour ago, there I got a report on my phone that um, a seventh grader shot himself in a school in Ohio. There was that drive-by, too, that happened. Yeah, and it's just, it's getting out of hand, and I don't know if legislators and the government are going to do anything about it, but they need to do something. What What are you guys' stances on, on gun violence? Emily, I want to start with you. What What do you think about it? I think it's awful, obviously. I yeah. I don't know. I think w something needs to change. What do you think they could do to change it? Like, I mean, I don't. I don't want to say relook at the Constitution, but I feel like that is what you have to do. Right. The Second Amendment. Yeah. Nick, what about you? I think that the gun violence is bad. Um, I think that that gun should be a little harder to get. Right. <laughs> Like, um, yeah, instead of like taking them away completely, at least make yeah. them harder to they should, obtain. Yeah, they should start including like some type of mental evaluation, uh, mental evaluation in the process of buying a gun to make Definitely. sure you're not uh, make that sure makes you're not messed up in the head. Yeah, I not even not even those big rifles either, like smaller. Yeah, like ones. I just think. Oh yeah, and limit should. the sale of big assault rifles too. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't. Nobody should have automatic guns. Like, yeah, if you're really just having a gun just for your protection in your house or in your car right or i'm co i completely understand that you live in a rough neighborhood whatever yeah. you want to have a handgun in your house lock it up you know safely so mm -hmm. kids can't yeah. get it obviously but the need for me to walk down the street with just any assault rifle, yeah that's not machine cool gun and stuff well, like and that. my question is why okay why does anybody need an assault rifle like what is that for hunting no it's not though <laughs> If you want to go hunting, use a rifle. You don't need an automatic weapon that shoots, you know, 30, 40 rounds. Yeah. 22 Tell that to the people that hunting. own it. <laughs> That's well, I, I've i seen a couple things like on Twitter and on uh, Facebook that a lot of gun owners of AR-15s are coming out and uh, disabling their guns and, you know, putting them away forever just because of all the violence that is yeah. happening. Mm -hmm. And yeah, coming from a guy who was at Pulse when that happened. Oh, you just, were there? Yes, I was there. I'll just say that it's just 
we don't need that. That was the same gun that killed those 49 people. I lost three friends that night. Yeah. So, like, that's not the first time we've seen that. I literally went to vacation in the beginning of the year from at the same place that 59 people were shot yeah. by the same gun. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so it's like... Happened in Las Vegas. Yeah. Happened in Orlando. Like, this is the second... No, this is the second mass shooting that with the same gun they said they there have been 18 school ones school shootings since january 1st of this year since this year yeah Yeah. so it's like it's just widespread like the the three things that er, that all y'all have covered that i feel honestly is one we don't need to have automatic rifles in the hands of just any random civilians right that's like military military grade weapons yeah but i don't think i don't think they're the government and the state of florida the state of florida has to change really the South in general, if you look at it, mm-hmm. uh, Alabama, Georgia, gun violence is just through the roof in, in the yeah. South because it is easier to purchase guns. It's a lot easier because in New York and Chicago, and them, you know how hard it is? They have one of the toughest gun laws up north. To exactly. Get a gun. The second thing is, is, like you said, you may not have criminal history, but the fact that the FBI was noted about his social media right. about like just when you watch the news and you see that those kids were saying you could tell he was very unstable yeah he was rejected from his family he didn't have he, any coordination yeah. in your mind and so just because you pass a criminal test what about the mental evaluation like do people even ask why you're purchasing this at the gun place like why like why i mean i've never it? personally tried to buy an assault rifle because i have yeah. no need to buy an assault <laughs> rifle <laughs> but yeah. you know I, I don't know what the questions they ask are but i don't think uh the government uh this administration are going to do anything about it i said the other day to my dad somebody could walk into a school all over the country like one at a time and shoot 400 kindergarten kindergartners first graders it doesn't matter they're still not going to do anything about it no and that's just who who's running the show right right now you know the nra those groups like that they think oh guns don't kill people people kill people well that's true i'm not walking down the street like just dying at the sight of a person right you know what i'm saying if you're walking down the street or in a school or whatever and you have a hammer i am let's say you have a hammer at the sight of a person well actually And, and maybe whoever's crazy running around with a hammer does kill a few people but not like you would with an assault rifle yeah so and that's the the tool that gives you're gonna understand bash somebody if you if you were walking around with a hammer either but that's why i also don't understand people when they also say like well guns kill but guns don't kill people don't have legs if if you take the guns away then all people can use knives and stuff but it's like it's easier to disarm somebody with a knife or a hammer. Just right. like you said, an automatic assault rifle, you're not going to run to a line of bullets no. that's coming to you. And just like, what do you think about Nicholas Cruz? Just real quick before we take a music break. What do you think about Nicholas Cruz, death penalty or life in prison? What do you guys think? I think he would suffer longer in life in prison. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I get the death penalty and stuff. Like, you don't want him around anymore. I totally get that. But I feel like he doesn't. He doesn't learn anything, you know? Like, I feel like life in prison, he'd actually, like, suffer. Yeah. I feel like that's more painful. Nick. That, I guess, just like Emily, death is too easy. Yeah. Death is like, you. what are you going to do? Just give him the ejection shot, and then he just drops dead? Like, what is? what are you going to gain from that? Like, just one person out of billions that are gone. You, it's, it's like you're taking them out the easy way. Evan? He killed 17, so I think it's just more like you need to let him suffer more right. a little bit. I think they're going to give him the, the death penalty, to be honest. Me too. Just because yeah. it's in Florida, I think they're going to give him the death penalty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's okay. But <laughs> Florida and Texas still rock like that. But hopefully something can be done about all this uh, crazy gun violence that's happening. I know a lot of people in Florida mm-hmm. own a lot of guns, and they— you know, it's funny. I see, I'll see on the back of a car. I'll see an NRA sticker. I'll see a Make America Great Again sticker, and I'll see a, a Jesus fish. <laughs> on a Jesus fish, what's that? Yeah. You know, like a very uh, confused person sounds it's like. A, yeah, it's a Jesus fish. It's just like a religious thing. Yeah. Okay, so how can you be religious and like Trump and all the things that he does, and be for guns? It doesn't make any sense. Don't call yourself religious. Don't you know <laughs> something has to give. You're being hypocritical. But on that note, 
that's all I have for the. For I wanted the gun to violence. bounce off what you were saying real quick. We had somebody, um, a friend of mine named Lexi. She messaged us on on Instagram on the Yeet Dudes account, and um, she wanted us to mention um, that there's going to be walkouts and protests happening. Good. Um, in a, as a result of the shooting in Parkland, and um. Specifically, she goes to my alumni Plant City High School, and they are doing a walkout on April 20th. Um, students won't go to school, or students will check out during third and fourth period, and they will congregate in, in the front of the school and um, just civilize protest, you know, signs um, and protest things, and anybody can attend. And yeah, so that's happening um, all over the nation, I guess. Yes, we want peaceful protests. Peaceful please. protest, yeah. And I'm encouraging Governor Rick Scott to do something, a.k.a. Voldemort. <laughs> um, you know, put your money where your mouth is. You know, do something about right. this if you care. All right. We'll be right back with Yeet Dudes. Okay. Uh, I guess we're back. Okay. Uh, this is Yeet Dudes, and my name's Evan, and we're talking about the comedy segment. I and guess. I'm Emily. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm, I'm Jesse. <laughs> yeah, you guys are welcome to chime in. Hopefully, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for waking up. Anyways, uh, so this first comedian I want to talk about. I got a couple comedians I want to talk about. Hopefully, I'm not too loud. Uh, Jesse, I think I think you you kind of chimed in with me on like you like comedian. You like comedy, right? Yes, sir. Yes, I do. Do you like to laugh? <laughs> I like all kinds of comedy. Dark comedy. What's your favorite? You like you like dark or like you really prefer like clean comedy? <laughs> no, I like the darker the better. I'm with you. On I like a lot of like uh, George Carlin. Um, David Tell was pretty funny back in the day. If you know him, he had a lot of Comedy Central specials. Yeah. But I'll think of more as time goes on here. What about you, Nick? What would Medea fall under? Oh, uh, oh God! Get out of here! So but that, is, like, that is that is funny. He likes that is, that garbage count. comedy. Yeah, <laughs> Medea or um, Will Ferrell. No. I'm, oh. I'm not the demographic for Medea, so I can't. I can't. I like satire. That's my favorite form of comedy. Um, I like Saturday Night Live. Yeah, yeah. Satire. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like stand-up comedians. stand-up comedians. They do satire. No, I'm not talking about Saturday Night Live. I'm, I'm not, not talking, talking about, about Tyler Perry's Medea. I'm talking about like people actually on stage. I know. Kevin Hart. Stand up comedians do satire like a lot. Yeah, oh Hart. yeah, I know that. I know that. Yeah. So what would he count as like real like um Cat Williams and Kevin Hart? Are they clean comedy or No, nah, they're definitely not. <laughs> nah. That's like Cat Williams like the farthest thing from clean comedy. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm I don't know those terms very much. Like what like how would they usually be classified? Dirty as? or appropriate. <laughs> no, like, they're just like uh I like dirty. Start. Yeah, I like, I like dirty comedy. Jesse like Bob like Bob here. Saget you brought up is like most people don't know. You would like, never think from full house Bob Saget oh no, he's, is he, so he's Satan. <laughs> such a dirty comedian. Mm -hmm. Very filthy, but amazing. Ugh. Another guy I like um Papa Saget. What's his name? Oh yeah, did you see um, Dave Chappelle's recent uh, Netflix stand-up? I saw part of it. I, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I heard it. Was, I, he got, I used to like Dave Chappelle. He he did three new stand-ups, right? He got sixty million uh, total. Wow. Like Twenty million for each. So that's not bad for taking like a what, like a ten-year break or something yeah. like that. Can y'all do a Chris Rock impression? I feel like those are cool. If you can. <laughs> Chris, Rock. Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Like from everybody hates Chris. From stand-up comedy. Oh. <laughs> Yo, speaking of Chris Rock, did you see his new tambourine special? From, from Madagascar, tambourine Chris Rock. Special. What's that all about? Uh, you didn't see? He, he just dropped like a brand new stand-up, like an hour-long stand-up oh, called Tambourine. Yeah. I, I saw it um, displayed on there, but I, I didn't get a chance Chris to Rock watch Chris Rock is crack-a-lackin'. <laughs> crack <-a -lackin. laughs> he has that real raspy <laughs> voice, awesome. too. You crack a lackin <laughs> But then, like, there's, like, like normal dirty comedians, and you got, like, controversial, kind of like a... Uh, Amy Schumer. She's not funny worth a damn <laughs> whatsoever. She used to be funny like when she first started out, but then when she got famous, I People think... People started calling her funny, and then she stopped being funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was... Uh, I like Louis Black. I Louis think Black. He does a lot of political comedy, mm. and... Didn't he's he get in really, trouble for something? Yeah, he got... In, yeah. Louis, Louis C.K. is really funny, too, but uh, before, before, his, before his before his controversy. He got in trouble yeah. for something, too. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy, she's funny. Yeah. yeah, she's okay. You know who's funny, but she's like really kind of racist. Me? So. No. no, actually, not what? me. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait. 
Come on, yeah, now. we got got my eye on you now, Emily. I was about to say, uh, what's her name? Lisa Limpinelli. Oh man, she is really dirty. She, she, yeah, <laughs> she be pushing all kinds of boundaries. Yeah. Um, another guy. What's his name? Bill Burr. Bill you, Burr. You, you, have you ever heard of Bill oh, Burr? Oh, is he the guy from Boston? Yeah. He has like a boss. I don't really like you, him that much. You don't like him. What about Bo Burnham? Is Bo that Burnham? real comedy? No, Bo Burnham is 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 a freaking. He belongs on a freaking playset. He he I he. Emily's he's favorite. way more energetic on stage than he actually tells jokes. He be on stage yeah. singing and dancing than he actually tells jokes. I'm I do gonna, not like Bo Burnham. I'm gonna guess but, Emily's favorite comedian, right now. He belongs in Rocky Horror Story. Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> you love him. <laughs> you might be a red. No, I like Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> oh right, yeah. What about the Wham Brothers? Are they count? Yeah, I mean they uh, I, they I got their know. start on um, Get her in done. living color. Yeah, early, yeah, in living color. My aunt was on but that But that's show. like like uh, you know like com uh, TV comedy. Right, like kind of like Saturday I was trying to like keep it strictly my like. Was a, my aunt was a fly girl on that show. Oh, your yeah. aunt was a what? A fly girl. You know the dancers. Oh, okay. She so was J Lo. So was J Lo. No, she beat J Lo. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> my aunt was there. I swear. It's awesome. Have you right. seen any um, like any stand up comedians live? Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, I was I was trying to soon. Like Andrew Schultz was coming to you know who Andrew Schultz is. Mm-hmm. Andrew Schultz was coming to Tampa. Uh, I think early, next month, like sometime next month, I was gonna go see him. But the thing is about comedy shows, you can't. I can't get in the most venue because I'm not 21. Right. Like you got to be like 21 or older to get in, and I'm only 20. Soon. So like I remember like um, I tried to get in to improv like the my birthday weekend, and I was like, okay, I'm 20 now. They can't deny me. I'm not like I'm not like 19 no more. Right. So I got in. I got to do like, oh, sorry, guy. You uh, you got to be 21 to get in. I'm like, bro, come on, get out of here with that. But, well, yeah. soon you'll be 20. When's yeah. your birthday? August. There you uh, go. So I got to wait a little bit, but hopefully go. soon enough. Yeah. But, uh, so, I think, oh, overall, I gotta say, Dave Chappelle, probably, probably Dave Chappelle. Chris Rock. No, not not Chris. Rock. Larry the Cable Guy. Dave Chappelle, Joe Rogan. Oh yeah, and, Joe Rogan. And uh, probably Todd Berry, like my three yeah, favorite Todd comedians. Todd Berry's funny. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> George Car- <laughs> Carlin, Lewis Black. I know you used to like Eddie Murphy back in the day. Uh, oh yeah, his, uh, can you do his laugh? Somebody please do his laugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't really do what it. What like was that? that? It's just like, <laughs> regular, <laughs> some shit like that. <laughs> you still sound like Pee Wee. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, music break. Anyone? Yes, please. Yeah. All right. For the love of God. All right. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our show for the week. I think we had a very eventful discussion. Yeah, we had a lot of good discussions today. Exactly. Remember to follow us at Yeet Deets on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We need a lot more likes. Get in on the conversation. Request what impressions you want to hear us do. <laughs> we're having well, what impressions <laughs> that you want me to do. I can do some. Yeah, I you, did, you I did meet Lowe. Jesse got a couple of them. Yeah, impressions. I got a couple of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just don't ask me to do Chris Rock. Yeah. <laughs> we got to end the show with a couple knock knock jokes. No, okay. no. Ready? No, we're no, not. Jesse, as Jesse, long as knock clean. knock. Long Who's as there? Clean. Knock knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Noah. Noah. Noah, who? Who? Noah, good place to get something to eat. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stop making us hungry. All right, guys. That's it. Tune in next week. Same time, same place. <laughs> we'll see you. I'm Emily. I'm Nick. I'm Duke Silver. I'm Jesse. <laughs> <laughs>